Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking energy text effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we are going to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels will be fine at a duration of about 5 seconds. Just press OK. Once we have that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a new text layer. And for this, I'm using the font Montserrat. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lower the font size until it takes up, you know, maybe about a quarter of the screen. And then I'm just going to align it to the center of my composition. If you don't see the align tools, it's in window align. So now once we have that, we need to create a new solid and we are going to be calling this saver and the effect that you will need for this to work is Video Copilot Saver. So the first thing that we need to do here is we just need to change a few settings. We're gonna run with a preset which is called Portal and that will give us that cool kind of energy kind of vibe. And then what we need to do is we need to go to the customized core and we're gonna change the core type to text layer and nothing pops up because you need to change the text layer to your actual text layer and if you've done that correctly now you will have this cool glowing intense um, saber effect on your text now obviously it's too much and we need to change this but first what we're going to do is we're just going to animate it and fix it up a little bit so the first thing that we're going to do here is we are going to animate the mask evolution so we're going to change this and we are going to create an animation for this. So all we have to do is press the stopwatch on mask evolution, move to the end of the composition and we are going to hit one on our keyboard. Now you can see what's happening here. Now you have this slight kind of movement that gives it that kind of uh, energy kind of glow feel. So now what we need to do is now we need to animate the starts and ends of our glow text. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the start size to zero. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate the start offset. So I'm going to hit the stopwatch for start offset. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to start at 60%. And then I'm going to move forward in time to about one second and then I'm going to bring that up to 100. Now if you've done that correctly, now you will have this cool kind of glowing, you know, it's like the text is sort of appearing and that's looking pretty good. But now we have to also do the same for the end offset. So I'm going to get to the four second mark over here. I'm going to hit the stopwatch for end offset. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to 60 and then I'm going to move to the end of the composition, which is at five seconds and change that to 100%. And so now we will have, it's like a fade in and a fade out for your animation. And that's looking pretty cool but we're gonna add a little bit more to it. So what we need to do is we need to come down here to the render settings and we're just going to go to alpha mode, mask, glow. And so now we're just left with that start of those um, little glow energy animations. So now the next thing that we need to do is we just need to change the mode to screen. And now you will see the original text. Now we wanna take that off because we only wanna be left with just the top layer. So now once we have that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to duplicate that layer by pressing Command D. And so now once we've duplicated it, now we just need to change it up a little bit. So now to change it up, I'm just gonna press U on my keyboard to bring up my uh, keyframes over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I'm on mask evolution and I'm gonna add in 120 degrees on the start and when I get to the finish, I'm also going to add in another 120 degrees over there as well. So now we need to do that one more time. So I'm going to press Command D to duplicate that again. And then we are going to increase the mask evolution on the top layer to 240 on both sides. So all you have to do is just put that in. And so now we'll have three versions of that glow intro and outro. Now you can do this as many times as you want, but three I think is a good number. So now what we need to do is we need to change the colors. So I'm gonna start from the top layer down 
and I'm just going to color hunt for all of my colors and you can choose any color scheme that you like so I will choose this color scheme so all you have to do is just import the colors and then move to the next layer and import the next color cool so now I have all three colors and they all look great together now we just need to intensify that so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a new adjustment layer and I'm gonna search I'm gonna put that at the top of my composition and I'm gonna search for an effect called glow and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna increase the glow radius to maybe let's say something like 350 and so now that creates a cool kind of glow look. If you wanna duplicate that again, you can. Let's just bring the glow intensity down to let's say 0.2. And we'll bring up the threshold to about 80. Cool, so now we have some cool energy text and now what we need to do is we need to pre-compose all of that. So to pre-compose, highlight all your layers and go right click pre-compose and we are going to call that text. Cool, so now we've got the text in a pre-comp, what we're going to do is we are going to create another composition and we are going to call this background. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new solid in here. I'm just gonna call that BG, leave it with a black background. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another new solid and I'm gonna call it Fractal. And I'm gonna search for the effect called Fractal Noise. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to bring down the contrast to about 85. And I'm gonna to go to Transform, take off Uniform Scaling, and I'm just gonna change these values. Let's say 400 and 250. So now we've got this cool kind of smoke looking, but it's not moving. So what we need to do is we need to animate the evolution option. So I'm gonna hold Option, hit that little stopwatch, and then I'm gonna write Time times 150. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you will have that kind of movement happening there. But we're also going to animate the offset turbulence. So I'm gonna hit the stopwatch over there. I'm gonna to move to the end of the composition. And then I'm just gonna move it over maybe to around 1400, something like that. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you have this kind of slow moving clouds kind of moving from left to right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate that fractal noise layer by pressing Command D. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press EE to bring up my expressions. And I'm just going to change this to, let's say time times 50. And so now that's moving at a different rate as the bottom layer. So we are also going to press U to bring up the keyframes. And I'm just gonna move to the end of the um, composition over there and then I'm going to go back to offset turbulence and I'm just gonna make it go a little bit slower so I'm just gonna bring it down to let's say maybe about 1000 something like that and so now you've got two different layers going off at the same time and they're just creating a more unique version of the smoke so that's looking pretty cool so what we can do here is we can also press T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity and we're just going to change the opacity to 5% and so now if you've done that correctly now you've got this cool kind of slow moving you can barely see it it's looking pretty good but on this uh, top layer what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add an effect called gradient ramp and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some colors from color hunt so this was my color palette. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take, you know, one of the brighter colors and I'm just gonna paste it in here. Cool, so now we have just a slight tinge to that smoke. So now we've completed the background smoke. So what we have to do is go back to our project settings and then if we go back to our original composition and all we have to do is just drag our background to the bottom layer, make sure that your text is visible and make sure that you change your text to screen. Now you have this cool kind of glow effect with this kind of vignette happening there and that's looking pretty good. So now once we have our text and our background, the next thing that we need to do is we need to animate that. So I'm gonna create a new camera. I'm gonna run with a 50 mil camera and I'm gonna make sure that my text layer is a 3D layer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna click on orientation. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
preset and animation for the orientation. So I'm just gonna rotate it slightly, maybe something like that. And then I'm gonna move to the end of the composition and I'm just gonna rotate it the other way. Now you don't have to go too crazy over here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fix up those keyframes and then move them to the ends of the composition. And so now we have this cool kind of animation that moves. And you can make this zoom in if you want as well, but I'm gonna leave it just like that. So the final thing that we're gonna do here is create another new adjustment layer. And I'm gonna leave that there. And I'm gonna search for the effect called noise. And I'm gonna just put some noise on there, maybe something around 6%. And that's pretty much it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this short tutorial on how to use uh, Video Copilot Saber to create this cool kind of energy text effect. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.